Do I know enough to participate in Google Summer of Code? Or can I participate in Google Summer of Code? I'm pretty sure this question runs into your mind every time you hear about Google Summer of Code. Well, the simple answer is yes, you can. But I'm pretty sure the answer that you're looking for is much more elaborate and that's exactly the reason why you should watch this video till the very end. What's up coders? Welcome back to all of you who already know me and hello to all of you who just tuned in. This is Troy Chef back with another episode to teach you how to crack Google Summer of Code this summer. So let me tell you what this video is about. So I've seen a lot of students over the years asking me random questions which they think might be silly but they're actually questions that a lot of students have. Like, do I need to be from a prestigious college? Do I need to be studying computer science in my college in order to participate in Google Summer of Code? I'm only in my first year or second year, can I still participate in Google Summer of Code? I only know one programming language, can I participate in Google Summer of Code? Well, the answers to all these questions is a yes, but there are things associated with it. So it does depend on what level of preparation do you have? what level of command you have over your programming skills. But all in all, you can crack Google Summer of Code irrespective of what you're studying, which college you're studying in, what area you're studying in. It's just that you need to stop focusing on those questions and just focus on one thing, which is what programming language are you gonna program in? What framework are you gonna use? Which project are you gonna work in? That is all. So if you're a complete beginner and have still not found out an organization, let's look at the first smallest step you can take to kickstart your journey with Google Summer of Code this year. Here's what you have to do. Open your browser and go to summerofcode.withgoogle.com. When you're on this website, click on organizations. This page shows you a list of all the organizations that are gonna participate in Google Summer of Code this year. Now, you can look up all the categories in which these organizations lie. So there are organizations related to cloud computing, data and databases, end user apps, operating systems, science, security, social and communication. And it could be any topic that you're interested in, you could just click on this and filter those orgs. So let's try to filter out some organizations based on categories. I'm gonna go in and choose social communications. As you can see, we have a lot of organizations participating in this domain. Let's look at what XMPP Standards Foundation has to offer. So it works with technologies related to asynchronous input-output, uses Lua programming language, Java, and Python and XMPP standards for Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. So now I'm gonna learn more about what this organization is by reading this stuff, and I can go and find out the ideas that this organization is offering this year to its students. All right, so they have a lot of stuff that you can read through, and these are some of the ideas that they want students to work on. So there's something called Ignite Real Times Smack. They have something related to Prasadi IM. They have something related to Posio and Dino. So all these are projects that XMPP wants students to work on. If this is something that interests you, you could shortlist this as one of your orgs. Let's go back to the organization's page and try to find out something in another domain, probably end user applications. And as you can see, there are again, a lot of organizations here. So I'm gonna go in and pick Mifo's initiative. So this one works with Android, Spring, Java, AngularJS, and MySQL. And I know personally, a lot of students are interested in doing things with Android since it's one of the hottest topics amongst college students in India nowadays. And this organization is offering you that. 
So why not learn more about it? We go here and now we go in and look up the idea list for the projects that Mifos is offering. So there are tons of project ideas that you see here. If you click on one of those, let's say the Android Field Operations app version 6, you'd know what needs to be done. As you can see, I'm one of the mentor. Category is mobile related to Android operations. And it tells you a little bit about the overview, what needs to be done, and where the source code of the project lies. So it, it gives you a good amount of idea about what the project is and what is expected out of the student. And here's the source code. So let's say you're interested in working on this app, you should go ahead, clone the project from this, and then start building it, try to run it locally on your dev environment and play around with it. Once you're comfortable with that, you can start picking up tasks which are assigned here, and then you can start contributing to this organization. So just like this, you should shortlist up to three organizations that you are interested in working with. Now why I suggest only three? It's because given the span of time that you have before you have to send in your proposals, if you have more than three orgs, it will become very difficult for you to cope up with the contributions in all of them and the quality of your proposal may not be as good. So try to restrict yourself to up to three organizations and very limited number of projects that you want to submit a proposal for. So you'll be able to deliver quality stuff to all of them. The next step would be to introduce yourself. How you can do that? The quickest way to introduce yourself would be via chat. So, so head on to this Gitter room uh, of Mifo's initiative and introduce yourself. Like you can see, there are other students who have already started doing this and you can take example from what these people are saying and how you can simply create your own introduction and then just push it in. Once you've found your perfect organizations and projects you want to work on, you can start picking up tasks and submitting your contributions to the project. And if you want to learn how can you ace your contributions, go check out this video that I created for you a while ago. This is Droid Chef signing off. See you next time.